So hi guys, welcome to Despot MBA Prep. In this session we will look into pipes and cisterns. But before starting this session, if you haven't watched the previous session that which is on time and work, so please watch that video because this has got a direct correlation between um, with that with time and work. So we we make use of some of the concepts, some concepts in which are in time and work. So pipes and cisterns. So what is a pipe? Pipe is something that fills a tank or that empties a tank, right? Pipe can either fill a tank or empty a tank. It can it can do both. And what is a cistern? Cistern means a tank uh, or a reservoir, right? A container. So in, in uh, pipes, we have two uh, terms. The first one is inlet pipe and the second one is outlet pipe. So inlet pipe fills a tank whereas an outlet pipe empties a tank. Understood? So in pipes and cisterns, as we discussed in the previous session, that is time and work, we have two methods. The first one is the unitary method and the second one is the LCM method. For the first question, I will apply both the methods and for the remaining ones, you can follow the method that is most convenient for you. So let's move on to the first one. Two pipes fill a tank in 20 minutes and 60 minutes. A third pipe empties the same tank in 40 minutes. In how much time will the tank be filled if all three pipes are open together? So first we will solve this question by the unitary method. So uh, what is given here? Two pipes fill a tank in 20 minutes and 60 minutes. And third pipe empties the tank in 40 minutes. So uh, the first pipe can empty a tank, empty uh, can can fill the tank one by 20th part in one minute right why because in 20 minutes it can fill the complete tank so in one minute it can fill one by 20th part whereas tank 2 can fill the whole tank in 60 minutes so the uh, one minute in one minute it can fill one by 60th part of the tank and moving on to third pipe this third pipe empties the same tank in 40 minutes so in one minute it can empty the tank it can empty one by 40th part of the tank but if you if you observe uh, the first pipe fills the tank the second pipe fills the tank whereas the third pipe empties the tank so we must consider minus because it's a negative work right and the total work will be 1 by x so take the LCM we will get x as 24 minutes so what's the meaning of this in 24 minutes the entire tank can be filled if all the pipes all three pipes are opened together let's solve this by the LCM method see in LCM method we will consider the capacity of the tank by taking the LCM of these three right the values given in the question so the LCM what is the LCM of 20 60 and 40 LCM is 120 so the total capacity of the tank we can take it as 120 units so the first pipe the rate at which the first pipe fills the tank is 6 liter or 6 units let's take units 6 units per minute if we consider second pipe it can fill 2 units 2 units per minute and the third pipe can empty the tank in 40 minutes right so 120 by 40 that's equal to 3 liter or 3 units per minute so just add it let me write it here add it now 6 plus 2 minus 3 because uh, this is a negative work so we consider minus 
so this will be equal to 5 liter right or 5 units 5 units of water that is filled in tank so 120 liters of water will be filled in how many minutes so as we considered 120 units as the total capacity and in 1 minute 5 liters is being filled so 120 by 5 this will be equal to 24 minutes so in 24 minutes the tank will be filled this is the unitary method and this is the LCM method a pipe can fill a cistern in 12 minutes and another can fill it in 15 minutes but a third pipe can empty it in 6 minutes the first two are kept open for 6 minutes in the beginning and then the third pipe is also opened in what time will the cistern be emptied right so the first pipe can fill the tank in 12 minutes the second pipe can fill it in 15 minutes whereas the third pipe can empty that in 6 minutes so what is the uh, capacity of tank capacity will be the lcm of these three values right lcm of 12 15 and 6 that is um, 60 liters this is the total capacity of the tank how much work will be done by a 60 by 12 that is 5 liter per minute a can fill 5 liters in one minute right whereas b can fill the b can fill the tank 4 liter per minute at this rate whereas the other pipe let's say c c can empty the tank at this rate at 10 liter per minute if we observe here if we add this 5 plus 4 minus 10 so this will be minus 1 so overall this will be a negative work the first two pipes are kept open for six minutes in the beginning and after that the third pipe was opened so for the first six minutes the work is done only by a and b c was not involved for the first six minutes so after the six minutes after that c came into picture so what is the work done per minute by pipe a it is 5 liter per minute and work done by pipe b in a minute is 4 liters so in one minute both pipes a and b will fill the tank at 9 liters right uh, they can fill 9 liters per minute at this rate but in the question it is uh, given that for the first 9 minutes these two are opened so if they are filling the tank at the rate, a rate of 9 liters per minute then for the first 6 minutes it will be 54 liters so 54 liters are being filled by pipes A and B and after that what happened pipe C came here right so when pipe C involved when pipe C joined so all all three pipes uh, will work simultaneously so when the three pipes work simultaneously it will be 9 minus 10 right for the first two pipes 9 liters per minute they can fill the uh, tank at a rate of 9 liter per minute whereas the third pipe can empty the tank at 10 liter per minute so 9 minus 10 will be minus 1 so this implies that in one minute one liter water will be drained so 54 liters 54 liters of water will be drained in 54 minutes so the tank will be emptied in 54 minutes understood let's move on to the next one so three three pipes a b and c can fill separately a cistern in 12 16 and 20 minutes respectively a was opened first after two minutes b was opened and after two minutes from the start of b c was also opened find the time when the cistern will be full after opening of c okay so let the cistern will be filled in x minutes let it be let us take that x minutes 
so as we know a was opened first a can fill the tank fill the cistern in 12 minutes so in one minute it can fill one twelfth of the part and it worked for x minutes then moving on to b b can fill the tank one sixteenth part in x in in one minute so what is the total time that b worked b joined two minutes after a so if a works for x minutes b must work for two x minus two minutes moving on to c c can fill the tank in 20 minutes so in one minute it can fill one by 20th part of the tank but c joined two minutes from the start of b so from here to here plus two here to here plus two so c started four minutes after four minutes after a so it will be x minus four so c worked for x minus four minutes b worked for x minus two minutes and a worked for x minutes so take lcm and calculate the value of x and here we will take the total work as one and after taking the LCM, we will get X as 321 by 47 minutes. So what does this mean? This means that the time after opening pipe C, right? After opening C, the cistern will be filled in 321 by 47 minutes, right? You can further simplify it. So for uh, we, we also discussed the similar pattern the similar model in time and work we can apply that the same model here also so this is the easiest way to solve these kind of problems so after watching this video what you must do is if you have any uh, material you can follow that you can practice problems from from that material or else you can also go to the portal our portal and you can practice the questions because uh, we are uploading the topic wise tests in our website so on your portal you can practice them the advanced sessions of arithmetic will start from will start after two to three days so until then you must clear your basics first you, you must clear you must be very strong in your concepts in your basics so that in advanced level you won't face any problem in solving the moderate in solving the difficult level problems so let's uh, move on to the next one so pipes p and q can fill a tank in 10 hours and 12 hours respectively and c can empty it in 6 hours if all the three are opened at 7 am at what time will one fourth of the tank can be filled so what is the total capacity of the tank take lcm 10 12 and 6 the lcm is 60 so the total capacity of the tank is 60 units as you know p can fill the tank in 10 hours right whereas q can fill the tank in 12 hours and what about the other one c c can fill in 6 hours c can empty empty the tank in 6 hours right so in one hour P can fill the tank, P can fill 6 liters, this is the 1 hour work that can be done by pipe P and what about Q, Q can fill 5 liters per hour and C can empty 10 liters, 10 liters per hour. So all 3 pipes are opened at 7 am, if all these are opened at once then the resultant will be 6 plus 5 minus 10 that will be 1 liter per hour so in one so 1 liter will be filled in one hour this will be the resultant one but we are asked these three are opened at 7 am at what time will one fourth of the tank will be filled we are asked to calculate only the one fourth of the tank that is filled so it's opened all the pipes are opened at 7 am so as the capacity of the tank is 60 liters one fourth of the tank is 
15 liters 15 liters right so in order to fill 15 liters we must have 15 hours 15 hours are necessary to fill the 15 liters of water because the rate at which these three work together the resultant rate will be 1 liter per hour so to fill 15 liters of tank we need 15 liter 15 hours and three tanks are opened at 7 am so 7 am plus 15 hours will be 10 pm right so at 10 pm one fourth of the tank can be filled so let's move on to the fifth question a can fill a tank in 10 hours b can fill it in 15 hours c can empty the tank c can empty the tank and if they work together the tank can be filled in 8 hours tab c empties the tank of at a rate of 15 liter per minute so find the capacity of the tank so in one hour a can fill one tenth part of the tank whereas uh, b can fill one fifteenth part of the tank and we do not know about c but it does it does negative work so we shall consider minus here and if all these work together then they can fill the tank in eight hours so in one hour it if all these work together it will be 1 by 8 so interchange these propositions and take LCM we will get C as 24 so C can fill the tank C can empty the tank in 24 hours so in 1 hour C can empty 1, 1 by 24th part of the tank but our question is to find the capacity of the tank if we observe here tab C empties 15 liters water per minute so in one minute it can empty 15 liters per water so in one hour it can empty 900 liters so the total capacity the total capacity of the tank is 900 into 24 so this will be equal to 21600 liters let's move on to the next question a can fill a tank in 10 hours b in 12 hours and c can empty the tank in 20 hours if the three tabs are opened alternatively then the total time required by the tabs to fill the tank so we are asked to find the total time required okay so this is a question based on alternative opening of the tabs so alternative what does this mean at first the first tab is opened and after that this is co this is this will be closed and second tab will be opened next and when this is opened a and c will be closed and when c gets opened next a and b will be closed so alternatively these tabs will be opened here if we observe the total capacity of the tank take lcm of these three uh, 10 12 and 20 so the total capacity is 60 liters so a b and c a can fill the tank in in one hour a can fill six liters b can fill five liters and c can empty the tank three liters in one hour right so all three pipes are opened alternatively so this is for one hour this is for one hour this is for one hour so in the three hours the resultant work done by three taps is six plus five plus uh, 6 plus 5 minus 3 that is 8 liters so in 3 hours 8 liters of water is filled but the total capacity of the tank is 60 liters and we are asked to find out the total time taken to fill this uh, this this tank of 60 liters so if we observe here for 3 liters uh, in, in 3 hours 8 liters of the tank is being filled 8 liters is being filled and in 21 hours 56 liters of the tank is filled right now the turn will be of a so now it's a's turn we know that a can fill 6 liters of the tank in one hour but the remaining is 6 uh, 60 60 minus um, 56 that is the remaining 
फोर लीटर्स मस्ट बी फिल्ड सो फोर लीटर्स कैन बी फिल्ड इन फोर बाय सिक्स आर्स फोर फोर बाय सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टू बाय टू थर्ड आर्स सो ट्वेंटी वन टू बाय थ्री सो इन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन टू बाय थ्री आर्स the entire tank will be filled so the entire capacity that is 60 liters will be filled when a b c are opened alternatively so now that you have understood the basic models that come uh, from pipes and cisterns now you can go to go to your your portal and solve the questions practice the topic test why because uh, time and work in pipes and cisterns is important for cat and it's important for the non cat exams as well though in cat and zat the questions that appear from this topic as well as the time speed and distance topic are somewhat tricky but forget about those tricky questions why because unless we are not strong in our concepts strong in our basics we cannot solve those questions so be strong at your basics build your concepts questions that is what we are doing in these sessions as well as in the advanced sessions and your personal portal so revise practice and do well all the very best practice well thank you very much